I think it's way more dangerous to have people uneducated about the risks of certain drugs and the importance of understanding the dosage and the purity than it is to tell people not to do drugs. I think that telling people to not do drugs and you're going to arrest them if they do drugs, that's unrealistic. People have done drugs since the beginning of time. I think the realistic approach is to fucking educate people and to stop all this nonsense about what is and isn't allowed that a grown adult, you, per, a person who has never done it, can tell you, don't do that. I don't want you to do something that's been around for thousands and thousands of years and has a rich human history of usage, like psilocybin. Like well, that, <laughs> that's not the good guy. The guy telling you he's going to put you in a cage for mushrooms is never the good guy. Mm -hmm. Well, I think there need to be you know places where people can trip who want to trip for any number of reasons. Yeah. I don't know what you'd call them. They might be churches. They might be retreat centers. There might be... I don't think the government should be involved in this is what my point is. I don't think they should have any say. I don't think this has anything to do with you. Just stay out of the way. You don't even know what it is. And if you want to do it, it'll make you a better person. But don't don't tell people that you're going to arrest them. There's some people that are still like pushing back against the idea of there being recreational use of psilocybin. Meanwhile, it's helping so many soldiers, so many soldiers that have come back with PTSD. The psilocybin research is very promising. I know. It's impressive. It's very impressive. Uh, MDMA as well. Yeah, MDMA as well. The guy who you know, drove me over this morning is a vet was talking about some of his friends who have done psychedelic therapy and they're like back to normal. Yeah, and more more than one different type of psychedelic. I've also heard people got guys doing uh, ibogaine and then 5-MeO. I've heard that, 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 that there's some real success in doing that, but I've talked to people personally that have had psychedelic experiences that have just freed them of so much that they had uh, from combat duty. Well, I mean, we need to do more research, right? Right. Because once we have more research data, we can say this helps, and it'll really spread out to you know, the rest of the country as opposed to just within the research communities. My friend Neil Brennan is a very funny stand-up comedian, and he lives in L.A., and he's always had like real problems with depression. And he tried a bunch of different stuff. He tried ketamine therapy, magnet therapy, tried a bunch of stuff. And then he went and he did ayahuasca, and he did ay ayahuasca a bunch of times. And the just the difference in his personality, it's like it like immediately had abandoned 80 percent of his anxiety and fucking tension and whatever he had that might have been weighing him down. And he was like, he's permanently happier. This is a crazy thing for someone to say. Mm -hmm. I took psychedelic drugs. and They made me permanently happier. Um, what but, do you think about how psychedelics seem to be panaceas? Yeah, they, they seem to do everything. Well, do they, though? Because if they make you schizophrenic, <laughs> that's not good. You know, I mean, they... they well, I mean... You, you know, they that's could, the, for some people. It's like, I don't know what they're doing. I, th I do think they can be panaceas. Like, what you're saying is right. They can, they can be panaceas for a lot of people. If you look at the, um, at the literature, I mean... Eating disorders, anxiety, mm -hmm. depression, OCD, alcohol, cigarettes. Uh, oh, yeah, in that way. Yeah. You know, um, For everything. In, improve metaphysical views. Uh, make your meditation better. You know, you know so in, in the you know, proper set and the proper setting, you know, they do seem to be like panaceas. They, you know, they heal all. Doesn't it seem like with every medication – and even if you look at psychedelics as being a medication, every medication is going to have side effects. It seems like there's no one thing that, I mean, people die from aspirin every year. You well, know? well, the stronger the effects, the more you know, side effects there are going to be. You know, so right. You can't have right. one without the other, really. And that's just because of biological diversity, just because people are different and their bodies react differently to things? Um, well, the intensity of the pharmacological effect... If it's really like you know chemotherapy, I mean it can end the cancer, but it but it's just you know rife um, with you know toxicity too. 
I, so I, when I'm you, not sure why that would be the case. I think that's, that's kind of just how, th- how things are in pharmacology. When you think about uh, psilocybin as like a panacea to all these psychological disorders, what do you think is happening? Why do you think it's helping people quit drinking, quit smoking cigarettes, quit doing, you know, gambling? There's a lot of different things that it seems to be helping people with. Mm-hmm. Well, one possibility is that suggestibility increases on psychedelics. You're more hypnotizable. Oh, so someone can program you like a Manchurian candidate. Or a researcher or a therapist who says, get better. Right. So yeah. hopefully you got a good person programming you. Could, could you imagine if that's how we can create? Well, the Manchurian candidate story is interesting. <laughs> you know, because the belief was you could just you know, turn an everyday individual into an assassin. You know, but you had to have those tendencies in the first place, either conscious or unconscious. If you were a peacenik, like a really peace-loving person, no matter no matter how much LSD they gave you, it's unlikely that you would become an assassin. Yeah, they had to figure that out, though. And the way they did is just experiment on people. <laughs> experiment on people, it's right. The, the, just the actual real history of MKUltra. Ultra. <laughs>